Today's time lapse is ants eating Jolly Ranchers. What's up everyone? I'm the professor and welcome to the observatory. Or for my mom, welcome back. I had my mom watch these. She says she likes them, but uh, who knows? Anyway, the pandas are currently dueling. The loser has to paint the theater. And by that, I mean we filmed all these ahead of time. So nobody's voted yet. But don't worry, because we can watch today's video on my laptop. All right. Let's, let's watch it.
This episode was the first episode that we tried filming during night. So we built a tarp teepee and put a spotlight in it, like just a normal work light. Inside of that had a bunch of extension cords running to it. We were slightly worried of it because of how bright it was going to be. Like we were like, oh man, the brightness is gonna ruin the footage. It's not gonna turn out right. But the worry came later that night as I was laying in bed and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna look out my window and be sure that like the neighbor's dog isn't eating our TV or something like this. And from the very back of our field, I can for sure see this huge glow and it looks like it's moving and I just know this thing is on fire. I'm just running down the hallway, screaming that our filming rig is on fire. I grab a fire extinguisher, hoof it down my stairs, out my front door, don't even put shoes on, just whip all the way back into the field, and no, this thing is just glowing like it's a second sun. And it's just sitting out there completely fine. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning, I've ran outside after thinking this thing was on fire. And no, it's just the brightest thing in the world. And so we realized this rig is, isn't gonna cut it. We need something with solid walls. This is the most conspicuous looking thing in the universe. Like, anybody driving by could see this. If there was anybody in a, like, a spaceship, I'm sure they could have seen this thing too. And then later, upon review of the footage, the inside of that thing is, is dark. It, it's, it's so not bright enough that the film goes grainy at night. And that was completely subpar, but it's, it's what happened. And that's how we uh, came up with the idea for the enclosed, solid wooden filming rig. But enough about my imagined fire. I wanted to talk about the animated intros and how those came about. The two of us, my my brother and I, started filming time lapses about two or three years ago, uh, just for fun. We wanted to see them ourselves, and we're weird like that. We like watching ants eat things, and it was interesting. We thought, oh, maybe we should post these on YouTube. Maybe other people will enjoy them. And then we're like, how do we make custom intros and so we we go on google we looked up how to make custom intros and we found i don't remember the youtube channel but somebody that was talking about blender and they said all, blender has all these interesting little presets and you can make perfect custom intros and animate and stuff like that and my brother immediately was like this is a thing i have been looking for my entire life i need to learn how to use this and so began years of every moment in his free time, he began using Blender and trying to figure out how to animate and building rigs and doing different little weird things. And that's how the custom intros and the professor and the room and the theater and the pandas all came about was just all these little things that he was trying out and doing putting stuff that he loved into this stuff over years. Uh, we're not professionals at anything, but we're getting better all the time at stuff. And it, it's really enjoyable for us to kind of even see the progress between episodes. So we created the intro all the way up through this episode before putting up anything on YouTube. We don't know how these are going to be received at all, but I am extremely grateful to anybody who has watched to this point. Thank you all to my family and friends who have tuned in to watch this. If you enjoy, subscribe. We have more videos coming. We plan on doing this for a while. Thank you. Bye.